What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate you tuning in. We are back here in my 2006 Nissan 350Z and as you can tell, we are like desperately low on gas and surprisingly the gas light actually has not turned on yet. So I think the gas light comes on at like 40 miles till empty. So technically, I mean, I think we have a little more than we think we do, but it looks pretty low and we're gonna go for a spirited drive right now because early morning spirited drives, they just go hand in hand. So we're headed to the gas station and we're gonna put some gas in here. The 91 premium fuel only and we're headed to shell because we only use shell here and then i need some caffeine because it's early and i'm tired so probably going to drive through jack in the box real quick and grab another strawberry dr pepper so yeah that's the plan i'll see you guys at the gas station 4.98 a gallon that's with my five cent discount it's literally 503 right now five bucks a gallon you guys so we just got gas we got about a half a tank isn't it crazy that 30 dollars doesn't even get you a half a tank anymore that's like less than 10 gallons so sad day sad day so we're actually headed over to rainbow canyon right now i got my strawberry dr pepper and you guys totally missed it i just spilled it everywhere but i was able to clean it up luckily before i you know started the video again look at there's literally pieces of ice still from when i spilled my drink look at these ice chunks Anyways. So we're actually headed over to Rainbow Canyon right now, which is a little area in between Temecula and Fallbrook, California, not too far apart. So it's right down here. It's basically that mountain right there and that mountain as well. There's a canyon that runs between the two. It's like the perfect like, I don't know how you'd explain it, like the perfect loop. I mean, seriously, the best thing about Rainbow Canyon is it's pretty much connected to Temecula. So that's the freeway right there with the, the Deleuze Mountains. Right here, you can turn left and go up the little canyon thing. So the only thing that stinks about this right now is this person is in front of us and they're probably gonna be in front of us all the way to Rainbow Canyon. So we're gonna go really slow. This is the secret, you guys. Let them get some, you know, distance ahead of us. Ooh, and then there's an RV up there. All right, here's the golf course at the base of the mountain. And then this is where we basically start to go up the hill. I will admit the suspension's pretty tight, so. We're probably gonna catch up to that person pretty fast. up very fast. I cannot thank you guys enough for 7,000 subscribers. Like the fact that we've doubled the subscriber count in literally two months is blowing my mind. Like every single day. It's unbelievable that you guys watch these videos. It's just so cool. I really appreciate you. Like if you're watching this video right now, you are one of the people that I, I, I seriously appreciate for being here. So thank you so much. All right, so right here, it turns left and we're gonna go that way because I don't wanna drive behind all these people anymore. Rainbow, rainbow, and we're going, we're going. Oh, a little bouncy. You guys, there's a shooting range right here. I don't know anything about guns really, but there's a shooting range right there. It's pretty cool. Me and my dad used to go there a long time ago. Yeah, I've been wanting to go again, actually. I think that'd be kind of cool. Take the Z to the shooting range. <laughs> Jeez. The one thing that's so nice about this area is it's so like, there's so much farmland out here. Like they're growing like plants, vegetables and stuff, which is really cool. It's such a different environment from Temecula, which is, I mean, we were just in the, like the huge busy city of Temecula. And then seriously, like 10 minutes later, we're out in like this farmland, which is pretty cool. Oh man, they just repaved this. This is nice. Oh yeah. All right, so this is like the crossroad right here, but the best part is here. This is like the second half of the canyon and it actually becomes a canyon. Like that part right there was kind of windy, but I mean, it's nowhere as windy as this road right here, you guys. I think if you guys wanna get a crew together or like a group of cars together and you wanna come and rip this road with me, let's do it because this road is awesome. I'm not even joking. I mean, look how sharp some of these corners are about to get. 
right there we need a LSD I think because then we could lock up both wheels there and we probably wouldn't you know one wheel peel you gotta warm up those tires you know as Manny Koshman says guys so much slippage oh my god you guys I literally cannot not do a burnout right there Top, and then we go back down. Oh my god, that freaked me out a little bit. Oh man, if, yeah, if there was another person on this road, it'd be a little sketchy. This road is almost so windy and steep that you can't actually drive a performance car like you'd want to, as weird as it is. Like, so good in just that amount of time look at the fuel look at the fuel I'm not even joking with you when I tell you that we have literally almost burned a quarter of a tank all right so the roads getting kind of bumpy and it turns to dirt right up here so I think I'm gonna flip it around all right so we flipped it around back the other way like this road but the only thing I would say is my lowering springs are pretty stiff for this road to the point where it's too bumpy to where I felt the wheels leaving the ground a little bit while accelerating so I don't think I had full traction so I think that's also why you know it wasn't hooking up back there these are Morgan racing lowering springs and everyone tells me that I'm, I'm saying it wrong and it's Megan racing I've heard of Megan Racing, and these are actually Morgan Racing lowering springs. I, I actually Googled Morgan Racing, and they were suspension that were on the car when I picked it up. I Googled it, and sure enough, they popped up as an Amazon brand. So I'm assuming someone was drop shipping them, and no one actually owns Morgan Racing, the brand name. And so it was just something someone was using to sell the things online. I don't know if you guys know anything about drop shipping, but that sounded a lot like drop shipping. So. We need second gear. Jeez, over the mountain. And then down. It's pretty sketchy, honestly. Oh, there's the freeway way over there. That's pretty cool actually to see. And I wanted to get out and do a little walk around, but I don't know. That's a little sketchy. I was gonna do it right there, but I don't know about that. Calling my pro drifters. This is a pretty amazing road. Yo, see, that guy, he had his cool classic car out to go for a drive. If you haven't just gone for a cruise to go for a cruise, just go and do it. I don't care if you drive an Optima or a Jeep Renegade, I want you to go out and I want you to find a cool road and I want you to just feel the limits of the car. You know, obviously don't push those limits and don't go over those limits, especially with the idea of going to try and enjoy it. You know, a lot of people just get in their cars to get from point A to point B, but I mean, if you have the idea of enjoying the car, Oh no, oh no. You guys, there's a dog in the middle of the road. Oh man, please be okay, please be careful. Please be careful. 
Please be careful. Should I call animal control? Oh man, he's behind my car, you guys. I don't... <sighs> he's got a collar. I think these people know who it is. Hi. <laughs> ah, he ran into the bushes back there. I think he. I think he's probably at that house or something. Oh, that was sketchy. At least we saw him, you guys. That's... <sighs> Alright, let's go back this way. That was the canyon and this is actually rainbow valley restaurant this is like a, a place me and my family have been coming to for so many years and i keep scraping on literally everything we drive over but i'm gonna back it in right here real quick i don't think they have premium here you guys but it's pretty cool looking let's get a picture rainbow oaks restaurant antiques if you guys haven't eaten here definitely recommend doing it but look at this car i mean uh, what an insane drive i do think honestly that this tire actually on this side is a little low and we got some gnarly bird poop man but it seems fine. It definitely airs up a little bit from driving, just kind of from the heat and stuff, but everything looks to be fine for, you know, canyoning this thing pretty hard. But man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Drop a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this type of stuff and I'll do more canyons. There's a whole bunch of canyons in the local area. So I love finding them and driving on stuff I've never driven on before. So if you guys are interested in seeing more stuff like this where we just rip some canyons, let me know down below and I'll do more of these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in once again and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.